I made this pair of black jeans about a year ago and I just do not like them. So I'm going to try again. Over the course of the last few years, I've made numerous pairs of pants and I still don't feel like I have properly dialed in my pattern. So a big part of the exercise of these pants is to refine that process. And also make sure I don't have the expectation of having it figured out once and for all. One of the first updates I'm gonna make on the front panel is to add in a little bit around the hip. I found that a few pair of my pants have gotten a little tight. And finally, I'm cutting out a few of the little bits I need just for the foundation of the pants. First order of business is always the zippers. And so a little bit of prepping of the raw edges to begin. Um, I just ripped my thread. So just uh, let me know whenever you're ready for my bit of humor this week. You know, your enthusiasm, entertainment corn, love it. Do we need to? I'll, let, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> let me just brainstorm. Um, uh, well, I've already dressed up as a woman, um, but that material is so wonderful, it ages perfectly. I could do that again. Um, my goal here this week is essentially to make a boring video about making pants, so that way I can focus on improving my ability to make pants. Oh, oh, hey, the B, <laughs> that's good, uh, uh, that B word. This guy is problematic. Um, something is up with my sewing machine. Did I just hear about trouble? There's turmoil, there's strife? <gasps> I, oh, Dios mio. <gasps> Sewing, why are you so hard? Why must you tempt and tease me? Oh! Whenever I sew in reverse, the thread rip. Oh, oh, there we go, it's working now. But also, it seems to be skipping. It's, it's not catching here. Come on, man, you gotta, you gotta play it up a little bit. You're having trouble right now. It's struggle, it's turmoil. Oh, <laughs> why did I ever start sewing? This is too hard. I don't want to anymore. I don't want to anymore. <laughs> Come on, like that. Come on, play it up. First, I'm flipping the bobbin the other way around here. Let me see if that makes any kind of a difference. See, it's still catching when I go in reverse. You hear that difference in sound? All right, let me swap out my needle as well. See, it's ripping. Let me see underneath here. Still going over and catching, yes. Oh, see there? Oh, now it's tightening and it's pulling. Let's take off this panel as well. The machine is sewing forward and it's pulling back. If I press this button, it does switch the direction. So the presser foot is working, but why is it ripping the thread when I go backwards? All right, let me try swapping it to another bobbin. Let's see if that makes any kind of a difference. And then in reverse. Ah, see, it ripped again. Let me swap out the thread. Maybe that uh, will make a difference. Yeah, that sound does not sound right. It feels a little jaggedy, you know? I am so confused. I am so confused. 
Well, I can't seem to figure out how to solve this problem. So my workaround for now is rather than using the reverse button, what I do is just go a couple steps like that, pick it up, turn it around and go back on itself. And technically it's the same thing. Hey, come on, you just gonna, just gonna ignore me now? The zipper is on now, so that's good, but um, it's still, something feels off with the machine, even when I'm sewing forward. So let me try with some lighter fabric here. Oh boy, see there, it ripped again. I'm gonna walk away for today. I don't wanna get worked up or angry or any of those sorts of things. And I'll do other work, my office work stuff that pays the bills, and then I'm gonna try sewing tomorrow. So I had what I think is a stroke of genius last night and I thought, why don't I ask Candyman Corn for help? So uh, if you don't mind taking over here for a sec. All right, well, let me have a look here. All right, what is going on? You see this little hook right here? Well, essentially what its job is when the needle goes down and then back up again, it grabs the thread in here, hooks it and pulls it around. And to me, it's looking like it's a little bit ahead of schedule right now. Let me fiddle around a little bit here. Let's see if I can adjust it here. All right. Okay, how about now? Down and on the up, okay. Okay. Let me try some more stitches on this heavy duty uh, denim fabric. All right, I mean, it seems to be working, so. Back to you sewing corn. Yo, how did you figure that out so quick? Just uh, focus on making your pretty clothes. That's what you got me for. Well, just steal my shine now, handyman corn, why don't you? All right, back to it. Right, I actually need to surge. Now normally I would be doing the pockets next but I wanna get the fit just right on these pans first. So I'm sewing the basic blocks together of the front and the back. That is actually spot on. I don't think I could have made it any better. Also, bell bottoms, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and undo these stitches now so that way I can put the pockets on as I should. The final thing I'm gonna do today is add in that 3 eighths of an inch on the front panel by the hips like I did at the beginning. All right, I can gain weight again. I don't gain weight, I lose weight mostly. I think I need to be a little bit more positive. I imagine there's probably some literature on this. Hold the secret, I wanna know the secret. Uh, in 2006, a groundbreaking feature length film revealed the great mystery of the universe, the secret. Yeah, fill me in, what is it? Later that year, she followed with another bestseller, The Mad. I also want to know the magic, the secret, the magic, think and grow rich, add to cart, the power of now, add to cart, you are a badass, add to cart. 
this is where it all changes. This is where I become great. This is where I start to fill the shoes I've been meant to walk in. Today was the day it all changed and you became the king you were meant to be. <laughs> oh, I just feel it. I feel alive.